Right. And I'm looking at your nine. Facebook page. Okay, Ten, there you are. Nine, I... eight, seven, six, five, and three, two, one. I've just been told recording has started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let me mm -hmm. go to your Facebook page, refresh. There we are. Right. We're, so we're on your Facebook page. And... Yep. Yep, I'm going to close it. Now, if I had the Facebook page open, would I get, would I get feedback? Uh, right now, I have the Facebook page open. And I'm not right. getting any feedback, but the volume's muted. So let me raise the volume. Hang on. Okay. Right. No feedback. Okay. Right. Okay. But we do have a, a delay, don't we? There is. There's yeah, a delay. Yeah. Because me and you are instant. Yeah. We're on the platform that we're on. We're, we're instant. You're... Attendees, depending on their connection, it could be 20 second delay, 10, it just depends on how strong their connectivity is, but they won't okay. know that they're on a delay. They'll, they'll be viewing right. it live. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I understand that. Um, and uh, in future events, we've got, I've got an event coming up two o'clock next uh, Tuesday, nine o'clock your time. And that's okay. an interview because normally I conduct interviews. I've done about 150 shows so far. And they've okay. been on Blab, which you've probably heard of, and then on uh, Huzza, and then on Fire Talk, then on Smile Time, and now we moved over to Blue Jeans. So I run about 15 shows a month, and okay. uh, quite enjoy doing it. And uh, this looks very promising. Um, we just need probably got more viewers on Facebook than we have here. Oh wow! It is very yeah. exciting. This new integration is very very exciting, and it's, it's kicking up quite um, a stir. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I saw the uh, the interview uh, that Guy Kawasaki did last night mm -hmm. uh, or yesterday. And I mean, 10,000 people watching is, uh, you know, something that we can we can hope for. But it is a way of reaching an audience. Mm. Yeah. And because... the, what's, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say what's even more amazing is that the Prime the primetime platform itself, you can have up to 100 presenters and moderators, and you can have up yeah. to 5,000 attendees within primetime itself. And then, so if you reach that max capacity, and then you're using Facebook Live, it's unlimited the amount of attendees that you can have viewing right. your stream. It's it's ridiculous, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So all the processing has been done by, by Facebook effectively, isn't it? Uh, the stream here. Um, but yeah. it, it's twofold. You have blue jeans with the the prime time integrated with the Facebook. Okay, and the recording stored here, isn't it, and at Facebook? Uh, no, the recording stored on blue jeans. It will not appear on Facebook. It won't appear on your your Facebook page. <laughs> but the the replay is there. Hmm. Right. We're, let me, uh, let me verify that for you. Okay, yeah, um, because the, the replay does appear on the Facebook page and people can replay at any time, so it must be local to Facebook. Okay, and you've yeah. tested that, you've tested the, the replay. Oh, you can download. From your Facebook page. Is that only to Producer. you or your attendees can do that as well? No, no, attendees can't do that, no. No, it's only the you. person who has the rights to the, the feed. Um, so there's no problems on that score. Okay, so, all right. And then you've, you've tested that, you've seen, no, this is all very new, so I'm also still learning myself. Right. Um, so when you're recording, does it appear on, it, well, it should appear on your Blue Jeans account, the recording. It does, yes. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then it also appears on your Facebook page. The, and it then does. you have the ability to download it. Can you view it live on your Facebook yeah, page? Yeah. Or? You can watch the replay. You can, no problem, and then download it. So that's the same behavior yep. as from Blue Jeans. Yep. Okay, that's really good info. I didn't know that yet. Thanks, Stephen. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, I, I, I watched the Guy Kawasaki recording this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the thirty-minute recording, and uh, that was really good. Um, oh, nice. Because you've got. Yeah. Right. So you're now reaching out to smaller 
businesses? Um, I believe it, it's everyone. Every, everyone right. has access to this. And as of yet, there is no pricing. There is no pricing structure as, as yet. So that should be coming soon, um, okay. what the pricing is. But, um, but it seems a lot of small businesses are very interested in this because they can reach a wider audience. And who doesn't yeah. use Facebook? Everybody uses Facebook. So. Just 1.7 billion people. Yeah. I mean, the difference is the difference is that you you've got an enterprise platform used by thousands of companies, mm -hmm. uh, with literally thousands of people watching, and you're now bringing that down into Facebook. That's the, the exciting thing because you it's a totally new audience, isn't it? Yes, yes. And then you can share it, you can like it. So whatever you do on Facebook is now, it's an easy way to get people interested. It's an easy way to get the word out. Um, and it's an easy way to get so many people viewing your, your talks or your yeah. meet, or anything that you need to do. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. Right. Um, I did put an invitation out, but it was short notice, so nobody is actually joining us. Now, can I just go through... Uh, well, there are some people are. there. There's Jenny and Stephen making comments on your Facebook page. Do you see that? All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you no, mind I if I that. say something? No, not at all. No. Everybody's watching on the URL. Mm -hmm. They can, uh, on the top right hand corner of the screen, they'll see a palm mm. and they can press that and ask to come on screen. Yeah? If they are in the, the primetime yeah. event, yes, they can do that. Uh, yes, as yes, an yes, attendee, yes, yes, you yes. can promote them. Mm -hmm. Right. Underneath that, we've got the, the event chat uh, and you, people can type text and questions and answer questions in there which can be taken by the attendees, yeah? Mm -hmm. it, how is it with, and links work as well. So if you press a link, it will go out and, yeah. So links are embedded, so she's good. Okay. Um, right, the next icon down, you, there's a separate chat that you and I could have as moderators. That is the moderator chat. So if any attendee wants to interact with the moderator, they will click on that and the message only comes to you, the moderator. Ah, right, okay, yeah. Um, okay. No one else will see it in the regular chat. Okay. Can the we, can regular we chat, Are you um, yeah. we, I no. can come in as an attendee. Let me come in as no, an attendee sorry. as well. Okay. Uh, one second. And then you'll see how that works as an attendee. So one second here. Okay, so Cindy's going to open the second window, and um, we're just going to test the moderator chat, um, so that you can send a private message to the moderator whilst they're on air, and uh, gain a reaction. Okay, and let's see. Okay, it's a bit disconcerting watching the picture yeah. screen at the same time. <laughs> right, okay, so I now have a message in the moderator chat. I just click on the icon on the right hand side and uh, it says you've got a question, Cindy. Okay, thank you for that. Right, screen share. Now, screen sharing options, I'm just going to click the button and I then get an option to share screen and we'll see what happens here. Now, I'm going to share my screen okay and i'm going to go to my second browser and that's the bbc website mm -hmm. okay and that's showing the latest news and then just a quick advertisement for empire cred uh as an event this weekend expand a loser if you want to join in uh please do so that shared my screen but i can't see it can i 
No, because okay. what you're what you're seeing is what's being shared. So everything that's on your oh. computer, everything that you see, that's what's being sent out to everyone. Okay, got it. And uh, I've watched the recording the other day, and the clarity is wonderful. Um, you know, I'm continually surprised by the features of the system. Right now, um, it was mentioned by uh, uh, welcome, welcome, Bob. Hi, Hello. I am sorry. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi, Barb. Yeah. How are you? Hey. Good to see you again. Hi, Cindy. I am so sorry. I just, it's, I started at 4.30 this morning. And, oh. uh, yeah, <laughs> it takes a while to get ready at my age. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You know, I have the same problem. Don't feel bad. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> well. So, Stephen, where are we at? We're just going through the controls. We've been through, uh, if you, when you're actually setting up and you're setting up a, a show, there's a moderator link uh, that you send out to people. Sorry, there's a moderator link you can send out to people to co-moderate. So you can have more than one moderator on the, on the chat, on the video. Same thing is you can send out a, a separate link to participants and they can come on and when you're ready, they, you can bring them on camera. Okay, depending on the layout. Mm -hmm. And the third thing we covered was the chat, uh, text chat, and the links work. Yeah, so mm -hmm. anybody can type in in the text, and um, if there's a link placed there, people can follow it. The other thing that we've not seen before is moderator chat. If you want to send a remark to the moderator, yeah. then you can press the moderator chat icon, and the chat is between the two of you. Okay, now in terms of being on the ball, it helps the moderator because if you want to get the moderator's attention, mm -hmm. uh, I can see that there's one message there at the moment. Uh, rather than watching the general chat as we've had to until now, you can just watch the moderator chat and be in control of what's going on because people are pointing out that you don't look right or you can't hear you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. What's uh, help, just, uh, helpful in, in addition yeah. to that, Stephen, is you have the ability when you're scheduling the event, you can disable event chat and that will force them to only use moderator chat. So if, okay. if you have like 100 attendees, that, that's it's going to be a really difficult. You'd need more than one uh, moderator, moderator or presenter watching yeah. that and answering the questions. So you have the ability to disable event chat and then they will just have to use the moderator chat. Right. Okay. Can we stay with chat for a moment? And uh, Barbara and I, Barbara and I, are well aware of this. You get somebody in the chat you don't want them there. <laughs> they say something that you, you don't like. Um, That's in, in, in the social media, okay. in, in a corporate environment, then you want to hear from everybody. In a social media environment, there will be people you don't want to hear from because if somebody mm -hmm. gets the link and comes in. Right. Well. You have the ability to check them out. So I'm going to come in as an attendee. I'm going to troll you in the chat. And <laughs> click on my name, and then you can throw me out. Okay. okay. So this is only going to happen if we have event chat activated, though. Yes. Yeah. Because okay. we know so, who the Cindy's, moderators are. <laughs> right. Cindy's, Cindy's now trolled me. I can see Cindy's name. I can see the text. <laughs> and I've got three, three, three dots next to Cindy. And So click on me uh, as an can, attendee. Click on my name and drop me. Kick me out. Oh, I see it. Delete the chat. Under Cindy, there's delete the chat and chat drop the participant. Those are my options. Okay, um, on the main panel, on the main panel uh, where it says attendees, underneath that you'll see me, I'm the only attendee, you mm -hmm. click on my name and there's two options, invite to interact or drop user from event. All right, okay, so we've gone back to the top of the top right hand corner of the screen, where participants Participant are. Participant roster, yeah. Yeah, and we, we can see who's here uh, as attendee. Okay, yeah. Okay, and we can invite onto screen or we can drop. Okay. Now, Cindy, Cindy, ah, check this well. if, uh -huh. if I press, if I press drop, mm -hmm. and I've got to confirm it, then that user is dropped. Now, can they, can How they come rude. back in? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, actually, 
<laughs> they can come back in if they have the link they uh -huh. can come yeah. back in next, um, okay. at this time there is no way to block them now your regular blue jeans meetings you can lock the the meeting if you you yeah. throw people out you can lock the meeting and that will prevent anyone else from coming in but at this time it's not available on um events but that is a good question and I can pose that yeah. to the developers. Yeah. It, it is a genuine problem on social media because you, the audience... In social it, it's actually much worse because there are oh, yeah. trolls with reputations <laughs> ah. <laughs> that go from platform to platform and follow specific personalities from platform to platform and especially influencers. So I think a way around that for now is only yep. send them a prime time link invite if you you trust them and you want them in your prime time event. Right. Otherwise, okay. yep. the people that watch from Facebook Live, yep. yeah, you they're they're if they're gonna say anything, they're posting on your feed, um, and then you can deal with that. Yeah. Um, but reserve <laughs> judgment on who you actually invite into the prime time event. I agree. And then that way, that's less. Um, you're more in control of who who's got information. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in 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 this instance, I posted in Bard Bard's group, Born to Stream Live, and that's the only place I posted it. So uh, that's pretty well controlled. Bard keeps a tight rein on things. So knew <laughs> who was oh, Barb, R J Redden is yelling for you. In in here. In Facebook. Oh, now oh. it's changed to Chris. Okay, hang on a second. I didn't even know we were streaming live. So, all right, okay. now we're going to just take this time to address our children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, if, you're, if you're watching <laughs> this on Facebook, we're just having a trial run. Um, Let me see. Did I pin it? It's, I don't see it on our page. It's, it's, sorry, it's on, on Stephen's page. It's on my oh. Profile. It's not. It's not in our group. It's. Uh, it's out yeah. there in public, Stephen. Yep. Doggone yep. you. <laughs> <laughs> the the group Sorry is secret. That. We don't want to give yeah, away I'm... our trade secrets. Okay, well, no, let me. No. Find... I'll, I'll find you just a minute. To, uh, to come on. Right. Um. For the moment. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Well, I definitely right. see me and Yoda on your page. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. Oh, Jimmy um, heard me call them children. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're streaming. Right. They're gonna shoot me. Right. They're gonna shoot me. Oh well, my. Well, no, no, you're okay. We're discussing. It's all friendly. We we're discussing earlier. That, this um, is not my family, Stephen. This is just your fans, your audience. Oh my God. <laughs> no, okay. don't, don't, don't worry about it. Um, now then, uh, then we went on. We've, we've covered the chat. We've covered taking people out of the system. Then we went on to screen share. Yeah. And screen sharing options. You press screen share. Share the screen. And I'm sharing the whole screen. So I'm clicking on, and then share. And I'm bringing up a second browser. And there's the BBC homepage displayed in full on the screen. Okay, now I can only see the screen, so I can scroll up and down the screen. I can pick a, a story, click on the story, and bring that story onto the screen and talk about it. Okay, now as both of you are in the States, you won't realize the sort of importance of this. Great British Bake Off is. I'm going to come back, is an institution in the UK. It's a baking program that's been running for six years. And oh. uh, basically, the, they have now just, or they are in the process of transferring uh, channels. So that's big news. So you oh. record screen, uh, sh screen share. Now, in the, the video, uh, which I watched with Guy Kawasaki last night, yesterday, he shared a video. How do we share a video? You have to pre-upload the video. 
I'm, to your, your okay. Blue Jeans account. And then let me give you a demonstration of sharing a video. Yeah, sure. Ah, there you are, Sean. Yes, Mr. Hillhurst. Our potential clients should be on in two minutes. You ready? Yes, sir. Good. I like yeses. And you better hope our friends in Japan say yes. Or oh, you're fired. Uh, but, Mr. Hillhurst, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a baby on the way. No buts, Shaw. Only yeses. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. Hey, babe. Shaw! Not a very good time right now. My water just broke. I can see your shoulder, Shaw. I have no way to get to the hospital. Where are you? If you don't get here right away, then You've the baby and I You've got five seconds to you. show yourself or you're fired. Hello? First and foremost, it's a real pleasure speaking to you right here from my office. Oh, okay, it wouldn't show the, the full video, but actually, so it just showcases Blue Jeans on the go, and he does the business deal with Japan, and his wife has the baby, and, and it's, it's, it's just funny. Yeah. Right. Okay, right, so you pre-upload the video, where do you actually uh, show it from, on the right-hand side? Yes. When you, when you have a video uploaded to your account and you click on the share screen icon, you'll see share screen and to the right of that you'll see share video. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Und understood. Very logical. Right. Okay, Bob. Well, we're next on to questions and answers, which um, is the next icon down on my screen. Yes, sure. Stephen, if you don't mind, um, sorry, don't mean to interrupt, but um, some of your, your children on your page, um, can we invite them in to so they can interact and see That's the platform silly. from the other side instead yep. of from Facebook? Let's let's bring right. them in as regular attendees. Okay, okay, so since this is only a test event, I'm gonna send them. Is it okay if I post it on the yes, on the page? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send okay. them the attendee link here. One second. And see, they just have to click the link, and then it will bring them into the the primetime platform. Right. Okay. Good. And We're they gonna can get see what... now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that, the, I the, just meant that as references. Stephen and I are a bit elder than they are. <laughs> Most of our kids. Oh darn! I better right. shut up. I just keep digging deeper and deeper. <laughs> Uh, well, welcome. We've been Jane. online a very long time. Okay. <laughs> so. Indeed. Oh, RJ's in. And hi there. <laughs> okay. Hi, RJ. Okay, now what we can do, and this is perfect, Stephen and Barb, because now in the Blue Jeans platform, we'll have RJ request to be promoted to a presenter. And then I'll let okay. you approve the promotion, and then you'll see him move from attendee up into um, our our presenter link. So okay, that's good. RJ is a she. Oh, <laughs> Just sorry, so you know. <laughs> We're having fun. Um, yeah, RJ, if you can press the hand, which is the third icon down on the right hand side. Okay, we're, we've got dead air while we wait for uh, um, Andrea to join us. Yeah, because attendees can't interact in any way. They're in a view only mode. Right. So I can see okay. a raised hand, one yep, request she... to interact. So, so you if can I approve. press on that. Um, Cindy, the attendees can't do anything in event chat. They can't chat either. The text they can't. Chat? RJ's been chatting to me in the chat. Oh, okay. Right, so request to interact live, and I press on that. And you have to press right. on, on her name and select approve. 
and then on her oh, side, right. okay. she has to also accept the invitation, and then it will switch her into a presenter mode. Right. Okay. So again, um, although we can we can see that one person has requested to join, we then click on the name in the list of attendees and approve. Yes. Okay. Got it. And then once you approve her, then she will get a notification to complete the process. She has to approve it, and then it will switch her. And uh, there she is. And then now you see how her her video and her audio is muted. We have to unmute her. There okay. you go. Hey, RJ. I told you it was our children. <laughs> nice hat. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like she can hear us. RJ. Okay. Hi. This is. Okay, My barn game. I'm going to tell her. Oh, wait a minute, microphone. Thank you. All right, okay. Oops. Can you hear us now, RJ? Can you hear us? Okay, we'll have her select her settings to test. Make sure the right okay. one is selected. And let me see. I'm going to look on the back end to see how she's entered. She's on the desktop app. She's remotely muted. Okay, RJ, you're remotely muted, so go ahead and unmute hey. yourself. There you go. Hey, you can Hello. hear me. Yes. Hello. Yes, Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. It's yeah, lovely just... to be here. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Blue Jeans. <laughs> well, you know you. you're now on Facebook too, right? We're, we're yeah. broadcasting this on Facebook <laughs> that's, Live. So. That's where I found you, darlings. Uh, <laughs> that's where I found you. So fix my Yoda. <clears throat> Okay. Right. Okay. So we, we come as far as sharing screens. If you've uploaded a video, you can share the video too. And the next thing we're going to move on to, if Cindy's okay with this, is questions and answers. Mm -hmm. So I'm clicking the questions and answers icon about halfway down the right hand side of the screen. And uh, there are no questions as yet. How do people ask a question? As an attendee, the attendees uh -huh. can post a question in there. As a moderator right, okay. and a presenter, you, you can't. So, RJ, if you don't mind, I'm going to demote you back to an attendee, and will you click on the Q&A and then send us a question, okay? Perfect. And okay. actually, I'll let you do it, Stephen. So click on RJ's name. Slide panel is going to come out. It'll say Manage User. Click on Manage User, and you have two options, drop her or demote her to an attendee. So let's demote her to an attendee. Okay. Right, done. Great. So now, as an okay. attendee, Got she that. can select the Q&A button and ask us a question. RJ, would you like to do that? Okay. Um, it's halfway down the right hand side and it says Q&A and if you click on it you should be able to open uh, a text box. Ah right. Okay. Right. It is an actual genuine question for you Cindy. Yes. Uh, okay. Can I stream to my personal profile and group as well? Yes, you can. Brilliant. 
The only stipulation, okay. RJ, is that you would need a Blue Jeans account and you have to be signed up with Primetime. And then you can integrate it with your Facebook page. Right. Okay, so I'm going to close the QA. Right. Okay. Now, a lot of things seem to happen uh, top right hand corner where the people uh, participant roster is. So all the action that you do in relation to uh, anybody who's watching or anybody who's taking part is all from within there. So you go back to that, take any action at all. OK, um, and just going down the right hand side again, uh, moderator controls mm -hmm. as moderator. What can we actually do? You can change the layout. Now, I'm like, for example, if you click on it, you're going to see moderator controls, choose the layout. So right now I'm going to choose yeah. active speaker. I'm going to push okay. it out. So now we were we're just going to see you. Now if Barb speaks, okay. it's going to switch to Barb. Okay. So switching out to the speaker, Barb. Did you, yeah. Did you want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to speak up. I'm in sticking my foot in my mouth. <laughs> no, no, only the ones, Barb. Right. Okay. Now, so that's the uh, active speaker. One person on screen. Yeah. Now we're back to active presence, which is as many participants as there are. Mm -hmm. And then you go into constant presence. Music? Constant yeah. presence is the Brady Bunch view where you have the nine most active videos all in at one time. And then active okay. presence has the, the speaker on top and then the videos, four videos on the bottom. And then active speaker is only one video feed, whoever's speaking at that time. Right. Okay. So just go back to constant for a moment. We can have up to nine people on the screen. Nine um, video feeds at one time. Right. OK. Um, that's far more than we're used to. And it will, it will take, uh, we'd have to approach that cautiously because normally we've, we've only had four people, haven't we, Bob, as a max? I think it will get out of hand with that many anyway. Um, yeah. So personally. We'll practice. Yeah, for for yeah. sure to practice. Yeah. But I think even if have you seen nine come in on screen on Facebook? I mean, can you imagine the little tiny icons? Well, let's see if we can get nine people in right now for AJ or excuse me, RJ. She's in here already. So um, let's get her to interact. Yeah, I'm one step ahead of you. Let's invite her. I've just done that. Oh, did you? Okay. Um, and then so. Yeah, uh, before you start talking, I go to the back. So, RJ, you should be able to come back now. And we should then be, uh, the screen will then dynamically change. Um, okay, so RJ has to accept it. And then let's see if uh, we can get anyone. I see Leland's out there on okay. Facebook. Let's see if we can get. Um. So Leland says, "Bring it on." We're in. <laughs> like I well, said, welcome back, <laughs> they're, they're Thank just you bringing, so much. <laughs> bringing reality to my label. <laughs> uh, now we're all back, and if we get Leland on board, then the gang is all here. Um, right. Uh, so moderator controls we could and adding a, a person uh, inviting participants we can do that and you say that should be done before the show starts really definitely the people that you want to help you moderate you should always if you can have a backup so if it's you and Barb then that's both of you watching yeah. um, moderator chat and, and you're backing each other up and then anybody else that's just going to be speaking bring them in as presenters and definitely invite them prior to um, or when you're scheduling the event and yeah. then your attendees so you don't have to type in all their email addresses to invite attendees you just copy and paste into a new email message and send out the attendee invite right okay. and then they will come uh, in only as a, a view only mode okay Leland just invited in. Leland brilliant yeah just invite them to join us so we should be joined within 30 seconds by Leland uh, I have a question, Cindy. Sure. Like if I'm overrunning you or Stephen with my voice, like Stephen was just trying to finish up, 
does it confuse the platform as to who's speaking and who goes on screen or is there some kind of delay there to try and depict which one of us is really speaking uh, no, it will. It should switch when you try to overlap each other, depending on the layout that you have. Like right now, we have constant presence. All so right. when you're, I already see you when you're speaking. But if we change it to active presence, which we'll test right now, um, active speaker. So whoever's talking, their video will come up now. So after I, somebody cut me off. Um, I'm talking, 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 talking. Uh, you're talking away, and it's not. You know, it's not relevant to our conversation, so I'm going to come on here and start walking. <laughs> All right, and then you see how it instantly switched to Steve. Now Barb is giggling and instantly switched to Barb. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. early in the morning. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, and then now I'll switch the yeah. back to constant presence. But you see, right. so so whoever speaks, it depending if you have active speaker, it will switch to them. Right. Well, I can override that, right? Morning, Leland. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me yet? Mm -hmm. Am I on the screen? Oh, yeah. You never know yeah. with this thing we because you don't you. see yourself on the stage. So it's one of those, am I on the stage yet or, or am I not? I kind of confused. So even with the, I just want to ask you a real quick question. Even with the active presence on, I still have control of what I see on my end. I don't. I, I see I can switch over to, you know, the Brady Bunch theme if I want or go to active presence. And with me controlling it like that, is it still overridden by the host setting, like on an interactive basis? Like if somebody no. talks, they take the screen or no? No, that is just your personal view. So say, for example, uh -huh. Stephen sets it to active speaker and you're like, no, I don't like that view. You yourself can change your own view gotcha. and it doesn't. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very cool. Makes a big difference. So I can't see what five looks like on the screen unless, uh, and that's the only thing. I don't get to actually observe from my end what it looks like to my people out on Facebook unless I go to Facebook to see it. Right. I am taking screenshots for our, our children. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Very good. <laughs> I also have Facebook up on my phone just to the just yeah. to the right here. And so I can yeah, see right. I can see all of us and I can also pay attention to the comments, uh, which of course you're gonna want to do if you can. Yep. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Great idea. Yeah. I so should just do that. Make sure when you schedule the event, Stephen or Barb, whoever's yep. gonna be scheduling it, disable event chat. That way there's only moderator chat that you can control and then the feed on Facebook. And then it's it's not gonna get too crazy in there. Oh, I see. So rather than have any private conversations between people in, because you have to be a moderator to use the moderator chat, correct? Yes. Okay. So if we had like 10 people in here, wouldn't it somewhat be convenient though to have a, a side chat for those presenters, let's say? Or are you a moderator if you're a presenter? What you can do for the side conversation, like when I help with assist, we mm -hmm. create a separate like hip chat room, but you guys could probably oh, use okay. Facebook as private oh, PMing outside oh, of the event. Yeah. <laughs> we get some so. pretty crazy back conversation. <laughs> okay. Oh, <indeed. laughs> well, That's... until now, yeah, Leland and I do a show, do a show midday on Tuesdays called Across the Pond, uh, which is myself in the UK and Leland in America. In Michigan, and we discuss events both sides, both sides of the pond, and we've been using Facebook Messenger to keep in touch with each other. Okay. So we now have extra, we have extra options without leaving this page uh, of keeping in touch. Stephen, I'm just going to say you may want to consider turning up your mic input at some point because I feel out of all of us here talking, your volume is probably the lowest out of all of us. So I'm having okay, to like right. turn well, up the volume to hear you when you talk. Right. Like okay. Uh, I'll speak more loudly. That that's for a start because I don't want to go changing something, and uh, if I change something, I lose my voice altogether. So uh, no, I take I a point. Um, yeah. Can you hear me now? It's about the same. Okay. Right. Okay. I think you sound uh, great, Stephen. He's picking okay. on you. Maybe it's just me and my volume. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, raise your volume. Uh, well, this, yeah, this, this is this is this is strange because on on, on Saturdays now. Uh, again, midday, 
and do a show with Carlos Romero, which is a music show. And he was saying he couldn't hear me, but our guests could. And I, I don't, I don't know. Obviously, there's something in the setting somewhere. So staying with moderator controls, we can change the layout, and it responds instantly. The other thing we can do is we can broadcast the message. Now, what is that, Cindy? And you've gone quiet. Broadcast a message. Yeah. Sorry, I muted myself. Mute. Yeah. Oh no. All um, oh, right. Okay. Your attendees, you can broadcast a message. Say that you've got 100 people waiting in the lobby because you haven't started the event yet. So you can broadcast okay. a message and it will appear on a green banner, send it out to them, and you can say, uh, sorry guys, we're, we're running a bit late, we're gonna start in five minutes. Or you oh, can okay. say, welcome, okay. we'll be starting the event shortly. And then yeah. at any time, you can broadcast a message. So right now, let's do a test here. And you'll see a green banner. You should see a green banner pop up. RJ, Leland, did you see the green banner? No, I haven't no seen banner. anything. Okay, then no it's banner. just an attendee. It's just attendees. We won't be able to see it. Only right. your oh, attendees okay. can okay. see it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the moderator controls. Mm -hmm. um, and the next icon down is to invite participants. So we can do that during the show, but should really do it beforehand. Yes. And the next button down is settings. Mm -hmm. Now, on the settings, uh, that's just my settings, isn't it? Yes, yes. That's the camera and the, the microphone. And, and then uh, it's speakers. And speakers, yeah. Okay. And then to uh, make yeah. sure your speakers are working, play test sound and you'll hear a little musical jingle so you know your speakers are working, you're receiving audio. Yeah. And then your microphone, when you're talking to make sure it's working, you'll see a blue line moving up and down. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah. obviously, um, if people see you, your camera's working. But because Blue Jeans recognizes your default devices on your system, if yeah. you have multiple okay. things, like you have a like different headset and external, you have to click on the drop down arrow and select the device that you want to use. Um, otherwise, Blue Jeans will always select the default device on your system. Okay. Yeah, I found that out when I came in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing like a live test. To, uh... That's right, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're still broadcasting on Facebook. And okay. let's see. You got 12, you got 12 likes and one love from RJ. Thank you, so, can we stop a broadcast on Facebook and then restart it into a group or another destination on Facebook? When you That's when you broadcast, question. you can choose you can choose where to broadcast it to with the URL. So I think where, he's talking about RJ, midway through the stream. Oh, midway through the stream, you would have to stop, and if you want mm -hmm. to broadcast it somewhere else on a different link. We would okay. have to start a new event. Is that true? Well, let's test right it. Right now. Let's yeah, test it. I, I like that <clears> if idea. we stop it, can cool. we send, can he start it again and send it to the Born to Stream live group and just keep going? Let's try okay. it. Go ahead. That would be let's, after right. show. Uh, be, 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 before yeah, we go, after show, to, be cool. everybody who is watching us on Facebook live at the moment, thank you very much. We hope you found this both informative and entertaining. And uh, we'll be back on Facebook Live later with a proper show. Well, no, this has been brilliant. Cindy, I would just like to say a public thank you for Aww, uh, thank in showing you. us around the system. So a round of applause. And I'm now going to press, press the broadcast button.